safi karibu tena double updates mtazamaji wangu mimi naitwa Mr. Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa jamani nipe location yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments ni mbona ni mtazama kutoka sehemu gani au nchi gani kwa wale ambao wanafuatilia kutoka nje nchi nipe tu bendera ya nchi yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kwa wale ambao wanafuatilia kutoka hapa hapa nyumbani plus 244 nipe mkoa jina la mkoa linatosha ndugu yangu alafu kila kitu kitakaa vizuri sana bwana siku yangu imeanza vibaya sana nitawaambia ni kwa sababu gani lakini before that hebu twende straight kabisa mpaka kwenye mada yetu so William Samoi Ruto <laughs> inaonekana alikerwa pia na matamshi ya the people's president jana uh, wakati uh, Raila alizungumzia uh, swala la Meg Whitman ambaye ndo ambassador wa US Uh, alipomwambia you just shut up eh? uh, mambo yetu kama wa Kenya hautakiwi kabisa kuingililia yani wewe fanya kazi yako au usipofanya hivyo sisi tuta, tutakurudisha nyumbani eh, tutakurudisha nyumbani so wewe just shut up na nini so inaonekana watu wengi hawakuifurahia Susan Kika i think niliwapa story jana alijibu akasema kwamba oh uh, Raila amekosa heshima na nini mm. tukasema it's okay and uh, leo hii sasa William Samoei Ruto ameizungumzia pia Uh, issue hii hapa na anasema i was asking myself between the people organizing demonstrations destroying property and the us ambassador who is rogue au sio i leave it up to the kenyans to decide sasa mimi kama miongoni mwa watu ambao tunaitwa wa kenya nimekuja hapa na sio tu maoni yangu nataka kuonyesha namna ambavyo watu wame react kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kwa sababu watu wamemjibu si ameuliza swali kati ya Raila na Meg Whitman nani ndo rogue. So si anataka majibu. So mimi nitawaonyesha namna ambavyo watu wame react na kitu ambacho watu wanazungumza kuhusu alichokizungumzia Raila siku ya jana. Si uko upande wako wewe unasemaje? Utaniambia hapa chini uh, kwenye sehemu ya comments. Lakini hata kabla hatujaangalia watu wanasemaje uh, siku yangu by the way ime, ime, imeanza vibaya kweli kweli. So jana usiku uh, nilipata taarifa kutoka nyumbani kwamba rafiki yangu ambaye anaitwa Walter amefariki alifariki jana yes alifariki jana kama siyakosea usiku and uh, kwa kweli Walter amepambana sana and nikiwaambia namna ambavyo Walter amepoteza maisha yake you guys naweza mkashangaa sana dunia inaelekea wapi binadamu siku hizi uh, tuna tunaishi vipi yani unanielewa inabidi hata uishi tu kwa uoga kwa sababu Walter amekuwa hospitali karibu mwezi and uh, Walter alikuwa mtu wa kawaida sana mtu wa kawaida sana ni yani mtaani chote watu maji so unaelewa kuna watu aina hiyo mtaani watu wakawana maneno mengi na watu fanya mambo yake fanyia watu kazi hizi ndogo ndogo and maisha ilikuwa inasonga so cha ajabu ni kwamba uh, tulikuwa tunaambiwa kwamba na madaktari jamaa alipewa sumu so ikawa tunashindwa kuelewa sumu kivipi tena what happened yani alikosea mtu kitu gani mpaka jamaa anapewa sumu unaona yeso tumekuwa tukipambana 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 so ilifika muda Um, Walter kapumzika and uh, it's okay kwa, kwa waliofanya hivyo it's, it's okay it's cool uh, nyie ndo mnajua mission yenu ilikuwa ni gani kwa sababu sisi tulikuwa tunafikiria ah, matajiri ndo waga wanafanyiwa vitu kama hivi kwa sababu mtu labda anataka kubaki na mali mtu anataka kufanya suye nini au sasa mtu wa kawaida unapompa sumu ndugu yangu so unampa kwa sababu gani so acha uh, ni cut story short uh, tulikuwa tunampumzisha wiki ijayo Uh, Jumamosi ambayo inakuja ya wiki ijayo and uh, tunaomba usaidizi jamani. Mimi naomba kabisa mnisaidie kumpumzisha rafiki yangu Walter and uh, kwa nambari ambayo ipo kwenye screen we can do a 50 bob challenge kwa hiyo yeyote ambaye ana hamsini yake jamani uh, usione kama ni kidogo hivyo inaweza ka support uh, sempa kubwa sana weka kwenye uh, nambari yangu uh, ambayo ipo hapa kwenye screen and uh, bill kufikia sasa hivi uh, imefika 180,000 Uh, uh, save Walter yupo uh, Kakamega and uh, yupo kwenye sempa kuhifadhi mili and uh, tuna mipango ya kumpumzisha wiki ijayo. Kwa jamani mnisaidie nipumzishe rafiki yangu and uh, nashukuru sana. Ni wakati mgumu by the way kupoteza rafiki and uh, familia uh, sio lazima wanifikie waniambie bwana tusaidie na nini kwa sababu alikuwa rafiki yangu and inabidi tujitokeze right now na nihakikishe kwamba moja mbili tatu yanakaa vizuri hata kama tutafanikisha yote lakini naamini sema ambapo tutaweza tuta na itakuwa vizuri sana. So jamani tunacheza 50 bob challenge kuanzia uh, I mean kuanzia leo and uh, yeyote ambaye anahisi kama anaweza kaguswa na naye aweza kabisa kutu support au kuni support kumpumzisha rafiki yangu Walter nitashukuru sana and uh, God will bless you. So wacha tuendelee hapa. 
Um, wacha nianze na comments za watu hakuna hakuna comment ambayo napita. Nitakusomea namna zilivyo. President Ruto should avoid responding to everyone and everything. He is the president. Avoid st- stooping too low, Mr. President. Behave like the head of state. Yaani huyu ni kama anamuona mtu fulani ambaye sasa amejiingiza kwenye maswala ambayo hata sio sio mambo ya kuzungu ya kumzungumzi ya kuzungumziwa sorry uh, mwingine hapa dance uh, kawanjiko anasema you are wrong let's first start there yeye yeah, mwenyewe william samoyoto okay uh, javis javis anasema hatuna jibu uh, baha uh, uh, bracious anasema us ambassador is the wrong alafu akacheka vincent mugoi anasema and the police that fire into peaceful demonstrations ameuliza swali kwa sababu <laughs> wananchi na wao uh, wako very funny eh Uh, Ruto ameuliza ame, ame swali kati ya Raila na Meg Whitman US ambassador nani ndo rogue and by the way the reason why Raila alimuita rogue ni baada ya kusema kwamba uchaguzi wa Kenya ulikuwa nzuri yani haijawahi kutokea uh, she's like anajua yani mambo mengi ambayo sisi hatujui uh, majority tunajua majority tunaamini kabisa uh, uchaguzi haukuwa wa, uh, wa haki wa uhuru na nini and mambo mengi yalitokea sisi tulifichwa uh, majority sisi tunafahamu hivyo So by yeye kusema ilikuwa sawa unajua ameingililia watu wengi sana and watu hatakaki kukumbuka kitu ambacho kilitokea mwaka 2022 so ni kama kugusa tena kidonda ambacho okay haijapona hivyo lakini ndo kama tunaanza kuisahau lakini ndo hivyo tena anaturudisha huko huko so lazima uh, mauchungu na nini tumrudishie eh, kwa kugusa kidonda ambacho bado hakijapo hakijapona so hapa mtu ameuliza swali nzuri sana in fact amesema tuanze na polisi ambao wanapiga wananchi risasi lakini nani sasa ndo rog so unajua hapo ata, atakuwa ameguswa uh, William Samoyoto kwa sababu hizi orders unajua zinatoka juu haya sasa Maxwell anasema huyu tena US ambassador mtu wa LGBTQ wewe noma uh, mwingine Joseph anasema fact your brain uh, your brain too is tactical okay Abbas anasema the ambassador is very rogue baba alisema wewe ni nani upinge I had son Wanjala anasema you are always ready to defend LGBTQ sponsors. Wewe unaona sasa anavopigwa anapigwa na na, na LGBTQ. Uh, Festus Ndungu anasema since independence we have never uh, we have never a, a preso uh, akuna utoto kama Ruto. Kicho yake si mzuri. Okay. Rashford Oti anasema the ambassador uh, Shadisere anasema foreign body should keep herself away from Kenyan affairs. Mr President you are also becoming petty. Mm, okay. Uh, Henry Ko, 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 Kabombo anasema yourself Adeli Kotina anasema what about president brut, uh, brutalizing and killing his citizens we no man uh, Sophie anasema shut your hot air eh uh, you America under the Joseph Camargo chip Ketiti and Kome Srog you hear i thought i had met all the dumpest people in the world until i met William Ruto sasa so, unaona kabisa mashambulizi yanavyoelekezwa kwake kwa kuzungumzia kitu ambacho hata hakutakiwa kuzungumzia you understand first these people I mean, Ruto sometimes is very confused and i want to tell you Ruto akienda USA the same same people ambao wanasema yeye hey, tunatakiwa kuheshimu ndio the same same people huaga ana walilia kwamba oh tukienda huko mnatuweka kwenye mabasi oh mnatuweka tunakaa watoto wa high school oh sui nini so t- wakikuja huku wanataka tuonyeshe respect wakati hata Okay tunatakiwa kuonyesha respect lakini respect tunaonyesha hata wakati wanatuchezea au wakati wanatu wanaingililia mambo yetu baba just told them you know what stay on your lanes bana yani nyinyi kaeni kwenye mambo yenu tuachieni zetu sisi hamjui unaona uhusiano wake nzuri na serikali haitakiwi kufikia level ya kuanza sasa kusifia namna serikali ilivyo you understand uh, unajua hapa kuna watu tofauti. Kuna watu wanaipenda hiyo serikali, kuna watu ambao haipendi hiyo serikali. So ukitaka kuoegemea, unataka kuonyesha watu wengine kwamba wewe ni kama unatambua serikali. Utaenda hapo umegombana na watu. So anaambiwa tu in short kwamba wewe wewe toka hapa wewe. Wewe ongelelea mambo yenu nyinyi wa US huko. Sisi ushai kusikiliza mtu anazungumzia namna sisi US imekaaje imekaaje sisi huko. Hakuna kwa sababu tuna matatizo yetu tunatakiwa kuya solve sio tena kuanza kuangalia US wanakaa vipi sio walifanya uchaguzi gani wewe yeye anajuaje kwamba uchaguzi ulikuwa free yeye alijuaje kwani yeye alikuwa ni miongoni mwa watu ambao walikuwa ni hesabu yeye alifungua sava akaona kilichotokea ama yeye anazungumza kwa sababu ana uhusiano nzuri na Ruto 
eh? au kwa sababu anatupea pesa fulani loan William Samota anapewa loan No ukweli ni kwamba anatakiwa kukaa pembeni na sisi tupambane na mambo yetu In fact point yake inakuja wakati watu wanavurugana Haoni kama yeye na yeye anaamsha vitu vingine ambavyo atakii kuamsha sasa hivi tupo kwenye mazungumzo watu wanaendelea kukutanishwa yeye analeta story ambayo imeleta issue unaona issue hii nzima ambayo inaendelea sasa hivi inatokana na uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 kama sio hiyo aungeona vitu kama hivi vinatokea unaniona eh so yeye baada ya jaribu kuturudisha nyuma wakati sisi tunaendelea kupatanisha watu hapa tukae vizuri point yake inakuja muda mbovu sana unaniona yeye afanye afanye tu kazi yake very simple very clear kutoka kwa Raila Amolo Odinga sio issue ya kumtetea mimi simtetei Raila yani yeye yeah, anataka kushughulikia mambo yao that's it mzamaji wangu i don't know kama wewe unaweza kukaa na una maoni nyingine tofauti na yangu hebu nipe hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kama kawaida kama bado hauja subscribe uh, wewe ambaye tunakutana labda kwa mara ya kwanza subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye